Hey, Desmond Du here from No Sleep Creative. Today we're going to learn about spreadsheet for automation in motion design and a little bit about data science. One of the most common things you need to do in motion graphics is versioning graphics such as lower thirds or title cards. In After Effects, I have this simple text animation and let's just say this is the lower third animation template we need to use for our project. So uh, for example, maybe we have an imaginary project where our producer wants us to make lower thirds for the voice cast uh, for the series Adventure Time. And we're given a set of uh, this spreadsheet over here. Uh, so th this is Google Sheet in column A. I have the names of the characters and column B is the voice cast. Column C is the, the name of the composition it, it needs to rename to. So to do this, to version the graphics manually, I will copy, you know, Finn the Human. This, and then I'm going to go into After Effects, Command D to duplicate a com, right? And I'm going to double click on my text layer and then uh, paste my data in. Go back to the spreadsheet, copy Jeremy Shada, do that for line two. And then last but not least, I need to rename my composition to L3 underscore fin underscore the human, right? And that process took about 30 seconds and we have about 25 characters to do. So that could take us uh, 15 to 25 minutes, uh, depending on how fast we go. It's a very simple but tedious process. So uh, this is where automation comes in. It's going to speed things up pretty much about 100 times faster. And this is how it goes. So first of all, we have this uh, data set, right? I'm going to go to File, Download, uh, Tab Separated Values, right? So our Chrome is going to download that file, our data set. And then I'm going to delete this composition. So I'm going to select this uh, master animation, uh, master composition called L3. I'm going to go file. I'm going to go to script, run script file. And I'm going to select, uh, my script file that does it, that does the automation process is called version com. I'm going to open it up and then it's going to ask me where is my data, my tap delimited text file, go into my download folder. So I have downloaded it several times. So it's the this the latest one's this one. All right. And now I'm gonna select that tab file and it's gonna run it. and it took about half a second to complete it. Okay, and close this dialog box and you notice in my after effects panel over here, right? All my uh, versioning has been completed. If you guys don't believe me, I'm gonna select all of this composition. I'm gonna put it in one single composition. Okay, and now I'm gonna run another script called a script that I wrote called Talcom two, and basically it just tiles all my composition for me, and you can see that uh, everything. See, let's play it back. See, all my animation has been uh, has been done. You know, all my data has been fitted into animation in each individual composition, right? So there are things we need to look out for, you know, characters with super long names, such as Ancient, Psychic, Tandem, War Elephant. Uh, so uh, now I'm going to explain to you uh, what just happened over here, right? So I'm going to go back to my master uh, lower third anim animation composition here. And uh, you notice the name, the names of the two text layer and our composition, right? It's name, line two. And then the name of the composition L3. If we go back to the spreadsheet and look at the header row, it, and this is exactly what it says: name, line two, lower third. Basically, After Effects is taking the data with the correspond from the corresponding header, right, uh, and just feeding it into the correct text layer. So, right, for example, text layer name is going to just get data from this column, which hit, uh, who has the header row uh, of you know, name, which is called name. And so everything needs to be re renamed perfectly. And then, and the next thing you are probably going to ask is, what was the script that I just used? The script that I used is called versioncom and it's written by this freelancer named uh, Aaron Cobb. He's this guy with this beautiful mind and he wrote it for one of the studios uh, where I work. This is not something I can share. But there are other scripts which you can get your hands on online. So one place you can go to is a scripts, right? So there's a script called comms from spreadsheet, 
which work uh, in a similar fashion. So this is something that you can purchase. And then uh, I think he even has a tutorial on how it works, right? And you can, if you want to write your own script, you can actually pick up uh, this FX PhD course, Introduction to After Effects Scripting. That's uh, how I got started with uh, actually learning more about scripting for After Effects. It's very, it's kind of outdated, but uh, I find it highly relevant and I learned a lot from it. And the third way is that uh, hopefully you have an in-house tech artist, which you can consult uh, regarding automation or regarding scripting or programming. Right, so that's three way for you. So back to our Adventure Time project, running the script is the easy part, right? Because uh, the ideal situation is where we actually handed this set of data over here. You know, perfect, everything's perfect. There's no typos. Everything's separated into correct column and with the proper header row. Uh, but most of the time, you know, this 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 doesn't really happen, right? unless you have a good producer or project manager who prepares the data for you. Uh, most of the time, my data comes in the form of an email or via Slack, and I have to prepare my own spreadsheet myself. This part can be known as data scrubbing in data science, I believe. So now I'm going to walk you through on how I gather my data and prepare my spreadsheet that you saw earlier, right? So for this imaginary assignment of making lower thirds for uh, Adventure Time, right? Uh, let's just say your producer just gives you this uh, this hyperlink, right? He just wants you to make the lower thirds for all this uh, for this cast. So I just I'm just gonna copy and copy all the data here, right? Man C, and then I'm gonna go back to Google Sheets. And usually I like to have I'll just toss in my data into a blank uh, a blank sheet over here, so you can. Uh, Press uh, Command Shift B to match to to paste and match the destination, right? So that will get rid of hyperlinks or any extraneous data. Let's just zoom out to one hundred and twenty five percent, and we're gonna get rid of column B. Right click, delete column, and uh, I'm gonna Command X and just cut it and paste into column C. Delete column B, and now we need to let's just say we only want the first character. Uh, and then we don't need the subsequent character like banana guards. And we also need to uh, get rid of the voice, uh, the parentheses voice, right? So let's separate the data first. We can go select column B, data, split text to column, and then I'm gonna select custom and type in slash, and then hit return. Actually, no, I don't need hit return. It just does it for me. And then split everything out and I can just delete the extra data and now I'm going to select uh, column B, com hit Command F or Control F uh, in PC to find and replace data. I'm going to type in uh, parentheses, voice, right? And I'm going to click on this three dot more option button. And I'm going to keep this blank and replace all. Are you sure? Click OK. Ta-da. And then we're done. Actually, we have one more. We, get, we just got to get rid of uh, this singing voice one. Okay, so now our data has been clean. We act, let's just put, uh, let's just shift the columns, right? To be character first and then followed by the cast. And then I, I am going to go into this, uh, copy my data here and paste it into this, uh, into this sheet that I prepare, right? I'm going to paste it in. And there's two things we need to know. First of all, column C just automatically fill itself, right? And then number two, we have an extra underscore at the back. So it automatically fills itself because I wrote a Google Sheet formula over here. It basically copies uh, the data in column column A and then copy uh, and then merge it with the data, the header row for column C and replace and it replaces any space with uh, the underscore, right? So if I would rename this to lower third, can see everything changed it for me. I don't have to manually type it myself. So this could be title. Okay, I'm gonna change it back to L3. All right, so I won't go into how to write the Google Sheet formula. This is something I can cover next time. I just wanna show you uh, show you its function. And so, and then the second thing is that we have an extra underscore. This is because we have an extra space 
at uh, in our data over here. Notice I can select this extra white space after fin, and for every other for every other character, right? Uh, to get rid of an extra white space, we're not going to manually and just you know just remove it like that for like twenty four times. What we're going to do is we're going to select our columns and we're going to go to data trim white space. Right, trim white space from trough selected cell. So this will get rid of any leading or trailing spaces that we have. And now our data is prepared and we're kind of done. And all we have to do now is go to file, download, tap separated values, right? And then we're going to go back to After Effects, go to file, script, recent script file, version com, find my data, which is the number. Yeah, this demo over here. And then it's going to run it. Yep. And there we go. All our composition, uh, all our versioning has been completed. And that took less than 60, 60 seconds, right? I mean, to for After Effects to version them out. Uh, so that's my workflow on how to approach data cleaning and gathering in Google Sheets. And in the next, uh, next few tutorial, I'll cover uh, more about formulas, uh, how so we can automate the automation process, um, or just speed things up and be more efficient. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you like this video, please subscribe for more and uh, do comment below uh, what you would like to see next or what you want me to elaborate more on. You can also follow me on Instagram at Desmond Du to see my latest work. That's all I have for you guys. I'll see you next time.